is in the box, people. What can I say? It's literally like less than 12 hours away to 2019. And I'm outside in the rain trying to put the seal in. Let's do this. Okay guys, so there's a motor. You can see the cavity where the seal's supposed to go. So I'm gonna take the seal out of its package and put some grease on it. That way we can um, get it back in there. So we got the new seal right here. I'm just gonna use this multi-purpose grease and uh, lubricate the seal so that way it doesn't tear upon installation. Just gonna go around it, not too much because you don't want the seal to slide out, just enough to coat it. So I really spread it around. Then also, you want to coat the inside as well. Just run some grease in there. Regular um, automotive grease is fine. You might be able to use WD-40. Just put some in there. All right, so we got the seal nice and lubricated. I'm just gonna, oh, gonna use some grease and put some on the crankshaft as well. Just load this guy up. So this piece actually looks like a tool that you're supposed to use. So I'm gonna put this on the crankshaft like that. And then I guess my seal goes on there like this. And then you put this ring on top of it. And then you sort of like push it in there. I'm going to use the old seal to push it in there some more. A lot easier. I gotta get this plastic ring out now. Now you guys can see the seal is in there pretty good. This side went in a little far. I hope that doesn't cause any issues, you know? But um yeah this is a tool. There's a diagram that's actually showing you what to do. It looks like you're supposed to have another piece like a cup. You see, that's how it shows you. That's how I figured this white piece was a tool. Okay guys, so the next step is to install the flywheel. Um, there is a special tool that they use to lock the flywheel in position so you can torque it. Um, I didn't buy the tool. I'm gonna try to use a, a pipe with a breaker bar on the front to hold it. And um, there is a dowel pin right here. So we got the flywheel. You guys see how it looks. It's pretty light compared to the original. So now let's see if this has to go on a specific way on the dowel pin. So if you look at the back, one of the holes are slightly larger. 
don't know if you could tell on camera, but one of the holes over here in the middle is slightly larger. So that one goes with the dowel pin. We're gonna put a little grease on this area right here. So this is a 10 millimeter Allen socket and I'm going to use the blue thread locker on the hardware for the flywheel. I already pre uh, thread lockered the rest of the bolts. clutch components okay so basically they told me to use thread locker and they said to um, inspect the flywheel and they also said that if you plan on racing your engine use the best hardware available so I would suggest if you were building a race engine you call ARP and probably get some ARP uh, flywheel bolts alright so now now that we have it at a uh, bottomed out, we have our torque wrench here. I already preset it on 120 newton meters. It's on 120. Okay, so right now I have a breaker bar on the opposite end of the crankshaft um, holding the flywheel. So. That way when I turn this, it's going to jam against the floor and as an extra assurance so that the motor doesn't turn, I'm going to use this flat head and brace it against the starter. So I got my snap on on 120 newton meters and we're going to crank this thing. hundred and fourteen oh, it's moving the motor so that's why it's better if I had somebody here to help me hold it I, I hit 118 so I almost hit the target so maybe if I um, try to do it while I hold the motor down That wasn't easy.
Okay, the next step is to install the clutch disc. This guy, we have one, two, three, four, five, six pucks. So this is a pressure plate. And there, there are some dowel pins here. One right here, one right here, three dowel pins that have to line up. So I'll just try to like test fit it before I actually do the clutch part. This one looks like one. Size is a little bit. Oh, wow. Got to make sure you get these plastic clips off from the packaging. All the plastic clips are off. <clears throat> so line it up. That lines up perfectly. So now we know it goes like that. So right now I'm um, installing the spline grease. Keeps the, the clutch disc floating when you release the clutch stays and moves and back and forth on that spline sort of so it's important that you you loop this cuz this thing it says it it withstands 2800 degrees fahrenheit so i wouldn't put regular grease on it if they're supplying this super high temperature grease right now that's a lot. That's almost 3,000 degrees. I don't know what they plan on cooking with that. I'm a tool as well. Okay, so you guys see the alignment tool. This allows you to place it on the center of the shaft there. So this goes in here, like that, and then we're going to take this back out. Just place it in any random spot, it doesn't really matter. The important thing is that you sit the clutch alignment tool on this shaft right here in the center you see that way we know it's aligned and then take your pressure plate making sure you align your pins it goes on top it's on there okay youtubers so we got brand new hardware for the pressure plate from BMW ship dealer as you can see they came pre thread locked and they basically just go around the perimeter of the pressure plate so we're gonna do that now all right so we're just gonna go ahead and put the the hardware around the perimeter like this What's up YouTubers? So as you can see, I have the transmission next to the motor. I cleaned up inside of the bell housing. We have a new fork and we have a new throwout bearing. So stay tuned for the next episode where the transmission gets mated to the motor.